welcome back to another video. I'm Julian Smith Bayer. Today I'm right here in Pan African Library. And today I'm with my, one of my beautiful sister and African American from America. You know, so um, before going to this video, and um, I would like to introduce, I would like you to introduce yourself to the people out there. Yeah, before getting to the video. Yeah. Hello to everyone. My name is Hannah L. As my brother here said, I am from America. I'm from mm -hmm. the state of Ohio. Mm -hmm. Everybody here in Gunjur calls me Janaba, so you too can call me Janaba. Janaba, yeah, yes. it's a nice name. That's yes. an African name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah um, you know, there are most of people out there and mm -hmm. didn't know what Pan Africans means. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I would like you to make people understand uh -huh. what Pan Africans mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the idea of Pan-African or being a Pan-African or Pan-Africanism okay. is that um, it doesn't matter where you were born right, okay, yeah. on the globe, whether yeah. you were born in Ghana, whether... Yeah, so the idea of Pan-Africanism is that um, we want to bridge those gaps. So of yeah. all the ethnic groups that come from Africa, yeah. whether you are Igbo in Nigeria, yeah, whether you yeah. are... Um, Zulu in South Africa, South Africa whether you are Serahule here in the Gambia yeah. or whether you are uh, what we sometimes call the lost tribe you mm -hmm. know <laughs> there in America we are all Africans yeah, and Africa exactly. belongs to us Africa belongs to us great pan-african Kwame Nkrumah said um, it doesn't matter whether you were born in the Caribbean whether you're born in Jamaica whether mm -hmm. you're born in America whether you're born in Ghana, Ghana it doesn't yeah. matter we are all Africans African and Africa belongs to us and it belongs to us all equally so that's generally the idea of pan-Africanism and yeah. I hope and I hope so you know mm -hmm. all blacks are from Africa yeah, yeah. okay uh, what are your experience during your staying in Africa or your coming in Africa my experiences have been wonderful. I've been here six months. I arrived here on November the 1st uh -huh. with my three sons, and we have been very well received, wow, very well cool. received from um, the locals here. I think I always tell people we are living our best lives. Best life as we are life. living <laughs> better lives than we ever could have lived there in America. So um, we're having a great time. We get home sick sometimes. You have your family there, your friends there. My daughter is still there. I have a daughter oh, who's yeah. 21. She's still there. So we miss them, but we couldn't be living a better life. Wow. You know, our experiences here have been really, really, really good. Oh, that, yeah, that's, that, that's, that, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. I, I hope so your kids are too real to the kids outside, yeah. Yeah, my yeah, especially my, my youngest boys, yeah. my boys are my oldest just turned thirteen mm -hmm. and then I have a nine year old and a six year old and my nine year old and six year old especially they stay in the village. I most time I have no idea where they are. Mm -hmm. They're gone all day. They're safe. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about where they are, oh, yeah. who's bothering them, are people going to accost them, are they gonna harm them? Um they they're they're having a wonderful time yeah yeah they're safe like, and they're free yeah yeah you know? because you know africans are you know they are very friendly and they are very related to the people yeah yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. okay thank you thank you for answering these questions yeah you. yeah yeah what does it really mean to be pan-african in 21 centuries i think for those of us now Mm -hmm. who are identifying as Pan-African. I think we are living out uh, the teaching and the guidance of mm -hmm. the Honorable Marcus Garvey. We're living out the teaching and the guidance of Malcolm X. We're living out the teaching and the guidance of Kwame Nkrumah. And, and Garvey, right? And yes, yeah. and so many of our, <laughs> yeah. um, our great leaders. We're living that out, yeah. right? Marcus yeah. Garvey told us many, many, many years ago mm -hmm. that Africa is for Africans. Yeah. And he said, it's time for us to go home. Mm -hmm. And now we're really seeing a mass exodus, a mass exodus of um, black Americans. Black Americans. <coughs> excuse me, returning to Africa. Mm -hmm. We're seeing it now. So I think that the time for the talking is over. We already have great leaders. We do not need to reinvent the wheel. They've taught us what we need to know. They've given us the guidance and we stand mm -hmm. on their shoulders. Mm -hmm. We stand on their shoulders. I kind of look at them as bridges. Yeah, so I of course, yeah. You know, you know, Africa itself <laughs> is blessed with 
And it's so this as he's saying beyond blessed absolutely yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and you can get food at anywhere yes yeah mm -hmm. and it is africa i see when people is eating when you are eating you see someone passing why don't come you eat. know the come eat come eat come all get. the time all the time all the time that's in that is in africa that is that is the culture that is the custom the culture, is the norm yeah that is the culture absolutely and, there, and we have to promote that culture yes to the world yes yeah. yes yeah africa is blessed africa, africa is, is blessed. abundantly yeah. blessed yes. so when on friday i was passing by in uh -huh. here and uh -huh. i saw it, the pan-african right there i said wow this uh -huh. is very this is going to be very interesting you know, to uh -huh. have a conversation with you uh -huh. and because and when I, I heard the word Pan African, I feel, yeah, I feel happy, you know. Uh -huh. I feel otherwise. So that is why, you know, I try to make my best, you know, to have it, you know, you know, you know, question and answering section yes, with you. Yes. But thank God today, I got you here. Yes. And <laughs> thank so you for coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. So my last question is, um, uh -huh. what do you have for the people out there, which will encourage them to come, coming home to Africa? What do you have? Your last words? In um, I think I would just echo the words of the most honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey mm -hmm. and say that Africa mm -hmm. is for Africans. Mm -hmm. Undeniably, Africa mm -hmm. is for Africans. Mm -hmm. Or if you are a descendant of Africans, and it doesn't matter if you know where you're from or if you don't know where you're from. DNA testing mm -hmm. is a really big thing right now where you can swab your mouth or mm -hmm. you know and find out okay where um, I am specifically from this tribe in this country and from these people but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. It yeah, doesn't yeah, matter because yeah, um, you could do a DNA test and find out that mm -hmm. you're from the Akan people in Ghana but you don't have to make Ghana your home for many different reasons you may mm -hmm, find mm -hmm. out Sierra Leone is a yeah. better place for you yeah. or uh, Gambia is a better place for you or Liberia yeah. is a better place for you but Africa is for Africans and it is time it is time for us to stop spinning our wheels in the West we have not made the type of progress that we think we've made mm -hmm. You see entertainers and certain a level of celebrity that, that you see um, through the news and media and other platforms, and you think that African people in the diaspora have somehow arrived to this level of dignity. Dignity, I guess. Um, yeah. And it's just not the case. Mm -hmm. It's just not the case. And we are spinning our wheels every day. Just two days ago, some white boy, 18 year old, 18 years old. Um, Baltimore, Boston, mm -hmm. Boston, I think. Um, he goes into a supermarket there on purpose. He drives mm -hmm. two hours from his his home. Mm -hmm. He comes with an assault rifle and he shoots up the parking lot and and everybody in the store. And then there's even footage yeah, of yeah. him coming across a white man. Mm -hmm. And once he realized the man is white, he says, "Oh, I'm sorry." He purposely doesn't kill the white man. And he goes around the store looking for all of the black people. And I was over it. We don't have to, we don't have to try to um, try to continue to live and exist in those systems, right? Yeah, yeah. You can come <laughs> to Africa, pick any of the beautiful countries that mm -hmm. fit your lifestyle and whatever you want in your economic uh, you know, status and yeah. live there mm -hmm. and thrive there and bring your children. It is you bring your children to Africa. Mm -hmm. Your children need to experience freedom. Mm -hmm. I wish I had been able to do this 20 years ago. Oh, but yeah. that wasn't possible. Allah didn't allow me to do that 20 years ago. But I am here today with my children. Mm -hmm. And I could not be uh, more proud and more um, thankful and excited for what their futures can be. Oh, yeah. You because they get to experience um, freedom here. So to all my brothers and sisters, whether you're in the Caribbean, whether you're in America, whether you're in the UK, whether you're living in Germany, wherever you are, mm -hmm. to Gambians who were born on the continent, mm -hmm. who have been living in Germany for 20 years, you've been living in Italy for 20 years, you have been living in the UK for 20 years, 10 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. If you haven't been able to accomplish in 20 years what you thought you would go to the UK to do, it's time to come home. 
it's time home. to come home and, and bring, come those, home. bring those resources, bring those <laughs> money, those talents yeah. back home back and home, give yeah. back to your people. Mm -hmm. It's time for that. Yeah. 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 Back home. Yeah. yeah. So guys, uh, if you are new to our YouTube channel, please you can subscribe, like, comment, and share this video um, to the world wide. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, so yes. and today is a wonderful day, and yeah. you know I miss uploading and a content on my YouTube channel. So today I want to bless you guys with this wonderful content. So guys, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I think that is uh, the parking lot and e and everybody in the store. And then there's even footage of him coming across a white man mm -hmm. and once he realized the man is white, he says, oh, I'm sorry. He purposely doesn't kill the white man and he goes around the store looking for all of the black people. And I was over it. We don't have to, we don't have to try to, um, try to continue to live and exist in those systems, right? Yeah, yeah. You can come <laughs> to Africa pick any of the beautiful countries that mm -hmm. fit your lifestyle and whatever you want in your economic uh, you know, status and yeah. live there mm -hmm. and thrive there and bring your children. It is, you, bring your children to Africa. Mm -hmm. Your children need to experience freedom. Mm -hmm. I wish I had been able to do this 20 years ago, oh, but yeah. that wasn't possible. Allah didn't allow me to do that 20 years ago, but I am here today with my children mm -hmm. and I could not be uh, more proud and more um, thankful and excited for what their futures can be Oh yeah, you because they get to experience um, freedom here. So to all my brothers and sisters, whether you're in the Caribbean, whether you're in America, whether you're in the UK, whether you're living in Germany, wherever you are, mm -hmm. to Gambians who were born on the continent, mm -hmm. who have been living in Germany for 20 years, you've been living in Italy for 20 years, you have been living in the UK for 20 years, 10 yeah, years. Yeah. If you haven't been able to accomplish in 20 years what you thought you would go to the UK to do, it's time to come home. It's time, it's to, time come home. to come home and, and bring, come those, home. bring those resources, bring those <laughs> money, those talents yeah. back home back and home, give yeah. back to your people. Mm -hmm. It's time for that. Yeah. 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 Back home. Yeah. yeah. So guys, uh, if you are new to our YouTube channel, please you can subscribe, like, comment, and share this video um, to the world wide. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so yes. and today is a wonderful day, and yeah. you know I miss uploading and uh, content on my YouTube channel. So today I want to bless you guys with this wonderful content. So, guys, <laughs> yeah. Thank you.